Hello, my name is Dirk Pfeiffer. I am a veterinarian and professor of veterinary epidemiology at the Royal Veterinary College. With this um, video lecture, I would like to introduce the concepts of diagnostic sensitivity and specificity. If we um, are looking into um, diagnostic sensitivity and specificity, we do it because we realize that uh, the diagnosis of a disease is one of the key decisions that a veterinarian has to make. And these decisions can be about just simple questions like whether an animal has a health problem or not. It may be about uh, whether what the prognosis will be for, for an animal that has a particular disease. And it may also be um, about whether we do decide to treat or further evaluate or whether we wait and uh, 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 then see what to do. And finally, um, a very drastic decision where we uh, need to make a decision whether to cull or euthanize an animal. Um, but, but actually, in addition, there's also within a production context, we may be interested in looking into or measuring um, whether uh, the animal has a problem that affects its productivity. Now, if we want to evaluate uh, and compare a diagnostic test, um, we always have to apply two tests, which actually complicates the situation somewhat in that one of them is the test that we uh, wish to evaluate. And the other one, which we often call the gold standard diagnostic test, is the one that tells us uh, about the true disease status of the animal. Now, if we do this sort of work and want to be able to um, draw generalized conclusions about the performance of the diagnostic test, we should be performing this work using samples from animals of a population that's typical um, for the disease of interest. Um, now, that, that's important because um, if I have a situation where an infectious disease has been introduced recently into the population, the um, responses to diagnostic methods might be quite different from a population where um, infection has been circulating for some time and there may be some animals that have been exposed to the 